Okay, so I'm going to show you just how easy it is and quick it is to recreate this shirt in Shirt Cuts A Lot. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on my type tool here on the left hand side and then I'm going to click anywhere on the mat. So now we see a blinking cursor. I'm going to type my word, Diva. Now of course that is not the font that I used on my shirt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the selection tool and Diva is automatically selected, but I'm going to click on it just to show you that that's how easy it is. You click and now on the right hand side here, you'll see the text options and I'm going to select a font that I picked out called Boulevard. Okay. And that's the font that you saw on the shirt and you can take it and move it around very easily. And then you have this little handle here that you can click on to resize your item. Okay. Now over here, we can take a look and it tells us that it's about seven inches wide. I believe that when I cut it out the first time, I made it about six inches. So we'll go about six something. That sounds good right there. Okay. Now you'll notice that these letters, they are individual letters that are overlapping. So what we can do to simplify that is go under path and hit union. Okay. And that takes, and now you'll see that you don't see the little individual portions of the letters. This is now, if you click on preview, one solid cut. Okay. So now what we're going to do to create the rhinestone portion of this, and actually let me make this bigger. So what we need to do is create the rhinestone layer. Let's click on the word Diva. We'll go to edit and copy, and we're going to go back to edit and do a paste in place. So what that's going to do is it's going to create another copy of it right on top of itself. Now, because it's on top of itself, it's not very easy to see it. That's where our layers come into play. You'll notice that under layers, we have the word Diva twice. Okay. And I can show you here. I'm going to move one just to illustrate this and I'm going to put it right back. You can see that it's there twice, except they're right on top of each other. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select the bottom layer here and you can select the layers here. This is the bottom layer. So this is the layer that's furthest to the back and we're going to run a shadow process on it. So with it selected down here, you can see in the blue, it's selected. We're going to click on the wrench and we're going to click shadow. Okay. Now you see what happened there. It created a shadow. I can simply easily increase that shadow size by just clicking up or down here and you can make the shadow as big or as small as you want. Now for the sake of working with rhinestones, we're only going to make the shadow about that big. And we, while we're here, we can actually just change the color so that we can help kind of differentiate what's what. Okay. So now since we're cutting out the top layer in gold, I'm going to just change that to a nice gold color and hit okay. So now we need to take that shadow layer and turn it into some rhinestones. So all we need to do is click on that red shadow layer here in layers and go under effects and rhinestones. Doing so will bring up your rhinestone options window and I'm using round rhinestones and they're going to be SS 10 and I'm going to go ahead and hit preview and see what it does for me. And there you can see the rhinestones are added for me automatically. That's all I need to do. And it actually did a really good job of it. So I'm going to hit okay. And now what I want to do, because there are parts of this, now you may decide that you like these rhinestones in here. I'm going to just take my eraser tool and I am just going to get rid of these rhinestones in here because I don't want those in there. I just want the rhinestones around the perimeter. Okay. So just that easy. You grab your eraser tool and you can just erase these rhinestones away. Our file is now ready to be exported into either Design Space or Brothers Canvas. And we can accomplish that by going to File, Export, and we're going to call this Diva. And you'll notice that you can save it as an SVG file, which of course is compatible with Design Space and Brother Canvas, or you can save it as an FCM file, which is the native format for Scan and Cut. So either one will work if you have a brother. If you have a Cricut, you want to save it as an SVG, and I'm going to hit Save. And now for our Cricut users, you'll notice that you want to check this little box that says design space compatible and hit OK. OK, so now that I'm in design space, I'm going to hit upload and I'm going to upload image and browse. And there is my file on the desktop. I'm going to double click on that and there it is. I'll hit save. And then I can click on it here and insert it just like I would any other SVG file. 
So as you can see, it's ready to go. We've got our rhinestones on one layer. We've got our HTV on the next layer. And we can go ahead and hit make it. And there you go. Now, of course, since you're cutting HTV, you'll want to hit mirror. And that's going to mirror it for you. And when you put it on your shirt, you're going to apply the rhinestones and you're ready to go. Okay, so here we are in Brothers Canvas. We're going to click on the SVG import choose file and there's diva.svg we hit ok and there is your file here is your htv layer here is your rhinestone layer and of course because this is going to be an htv project we want to go under edit and make sure that we flip it so that it cuts correctly and of course here are your rhinestones ready to go